video, I'm going to be taking a look at another product here from Athern. This is the ready to roll rotary snowplow Union Pacific. So, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get started on that review, shall we? All right, so let's see what we've got in here. I can already tell you that I this particular rotary snowplow uh, does still exist, but that the tender that's on it is nothing like this one. So that's kind of already a a big time inaccuracy there. Got our usual Atherin warranty card and come visit their website and the exploded parts diagram. And this is what I was kind of wondering. Uh, this does have a motor in it to drive the blades there. So we'll be testing that. It does have a board, circuit board there it shows, although it doesn't look like it has a uh, plug for a decoder. Not sure. We'll have to take a look at that. Would be kind of nice to uh, add a decoder to this so I could at least operate the uh, blade with that. But I've got plenty of spare Bachmann decoders laying around. So that might, one of those might end up finding their way into this thing. Assuming I get the plastic off of this. Okay, that was an unnecessary pain in the butt. Go ahead and pull this out. That soft plastic there again. And I'm pretty sure this plow is the same thing that they used to make for the um, blue box atherins that, you, that were just black and you had to paint them. I'm pretty sure this is the exact same model. There's actually quite a few inaccuracies with this thing. Unfortunately, I do have metal wheels. You can see the power pickups down there. Looks like the tender has some power pickups as well. It's kind of interesting. I guess the uh, pole bar right there must be must be uh, powered. Right power to that. So we've got a McHenry coupler back here. There's a lot of details that are wrong in this thing. Unfortunately, the tender's completely wrong. Um, there's actually a photograph of this particular one online that I looked at. And uh, the tender, like I said, it's uh, it's got three-wheel trucks on it as opposed to two-wheel like this one has. And it's a completely different tender style. It's, uh, who knows? This might have actually been the original tender to this, and UP might have just gotten rid of it and upgraded it at some point but uh, there's a lot of stairs on the prototype that doesn't exist on here like there's a the, the walk walkway right here the stairs right here there's actually an extension that comes down and it's curved all these stairs that come that hang down right here they're all curved as well so there's actually quite a bit of detail that's missing on this and I don't see any extra detail parts to add to it so that's what we've got That does, in fact, spin. So I wonder if there's any lights to this thing, or if it just spins. Around, take a look at this side. There's really no lettering to speak of on this thing, except the Union Pacific and the number right here. Again, it's the same way on the tender. You can see the the outlet for the snow there to blow blow out of it there so um i guess we'll set them on the layout and just see what happens i don't really expect them to do a whole lot maybe i'll i think i'm going to take the shell off action we'll see what uh, what uh what that board looks like and see if maybe we can add a decoder to it here
So here's what we have when we remove the shell right here. You can see a motor right here, and we've got an impressive array of brass pulleys right here. And we've got a couple belts right here. Drive that. We've got a power pickup here from the front trucks. We've got another one. Actually, that goes to the rear truck. Looks like, even though it's screwed in right there. I'm not sure why that's screwed in right there. Hmm. Anyway, we've got one there. We've got two powers. We've got this board. One side of the board is for power, and the other side's for the motor. So we'll find out if maybe this thing just works in a DCC layout. I don't know. I don't think it's. I don't think it's a decoder board. It doesn't look to me like a decoder board, but I don't know that for sure. And then the tender we've got. There is power that comes from that draw bar right there. Looks like the tender powers one side of the motor, and then the main unit itself powers the other side of the motor. That's what it looks like to me. I don't see any way to add. There's there's nothing on this board to add lights to. So um, let's see the steam firebox hatch right there. It seems to me like there might be some lights up in there, but I don't know. I'd have to see if there's any prototype photos of that. Maybe there isn't. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, so there's nothing back here. No lights or anything. So I guess we'll get the shell back on and uh, put it on the layout and just see what happens here. Yes, it does most definitely spin when it's on a DCC layout. Look at that. Kind of a noisy motor though. See those pulleys spinning there. See that blade is turning. Kind of need the chute outlet right here. That's to move that to adjust it for either side. So, yeah. all right. Although I think I still would prefer to put a DCC decoder in that though. I have to do this off camera apparently. Alright, so it rolls pretty good. The front shot of that thing. Oh, well, that's kind of neat. I have to see if there's any detail parts for these things. There probably are. So, there's really not a whole lot else to say about this thing. It works, and it works on a DCC layout, so without having to do anything, once you apply it, once you turn on the DCC controller, it applies power to the track, and it, the thing just starts spinning, so. I'm not sure. I think I'd prefer a different motor, though because it's awfully loud. Of course, I have no idea what these things really sounded like. And I really don't know anything about these other than to say that the details are not accurate to what I saw in the picture. But this is, I'm pretty sure this is just a re-release of the blue box version with the motor and some circuitry put into it. So um, it's kind of funny because I've got a blue box version of this and uh, I never put it together, but I had a similar idea to put a little motor in there and some belts and a little pulley and stuff like that to make that those blades actually function, so it's, that's kind of neat. But, uh, yeah. Just kind of minimal detail along the roof there. Nothing too special. Detail up here on top of the tender. Yeah, so, well, this has been my review of this Hathorn Ready to Run snowplow here. And it's a nice model. Uh, it's a lot of inaccuracies though, but I I don't know why Hathorn never improved this, because they sure could have done a really nice model with this. Uh, 
but it, it looks cool the way it is so eh, just don't look at it too closely I suppose don't look at the ro the uh, prototypical photos of this thing either <laughs> that, that that'd be my recommendation so anyway anyway take care everyone